is going out to my man Tin. We're going to spray some Wet Wet Plus. Got it already mixed up. It's two to one. Two parts clear, one part activator. Wet Wet Plus. Ready to go. Matt with Paint with Pearl hooked us up with this white sparkle pearl pigment ghost pearl flake. I'm going to use not quite a eighth of a teaspoon in this. It's about 12 ounces of wet wet plus in here. What we're spraying today, no it's not a lawnmower. It's a truck. It's a 1971 Ford F100 Ranger truck. We're doing the firewall, the cowl, and we've got inner fenders. And in the hood back there. This is what we're doing. This is for my man Bahama Dave. He loves this Bahama Blue. And we call him Bahama Dave. He says it's got to be Bahama Blue. He bought this truck brand new. 1971 Bahama Blue. And on the black is Acme Finish 1. Coach Black. Acrylic Enamel. And this is some awesome black paint. Everything's been scuffed up with a red scotch bright pad, wiped down, tack ragged. And you can see the blue ready to go. Scuffed up. I'm going to show you guys the, the underneath of this hood. This over paint was the bottom of the hood today. And you can see there's some light trash in there because of all the dirt and dust that's trapped underneath of here. We didn't do a whole lot of prep to get it here. Here's a good spot. You can see all the dirt and dust in there. We're not too worried. This is just more of a daily driver truck. We're just trying to get this thing back to where, where it should be. So, you're going to see some light trash in the hood. That's from all the dust blowing around in behind here. nothing to do with the clear coat. So, stand by, we're going to mix it in the gun. Let me show you the gun settings. You can see this is all scuffed up, ready, ready for the clear coat. Three coats of the PPG Omni Acrylic Enamel. This is good paint. A lot of people don't say, can't paint your truck with acrylic enamel. So if it's junk, they're wrong. This is a cheap way to do it. Okay, spending a thousand, two thousand dollars for a gallon of paint. I don't have the money. This is just a truck here. So today we're using Devilbus Techno Pro Light. We're running a 1.3 tip. Running the TE20 air cap. Okay, so I got my air on. Just got her set. 50 pounds. 50 pounds with the trigger pulled. You can see the gun did not blow up. Did not blow up. That's what we're spraying it with. Okay, so what you're looking for is one medium coat. That's more of a, a good heavy coat. 
I'm just setting the gun up. So you're going to do one medium coat, 50 pounds, 30 minute flash, come back, a good wet coat, 30 minute flash, third wet coat, 30 minute flash, and you're done. So that's one good wet coat right there, and then you can see there's nothing there. That's one coat. Look at the shine on that already. And then the pearl pigment in there. Beautiful. Okay, I just shot the first coat. It's supposed to be a medium wet coat. And it turned out it's pretty wet. Which is fine. And you can see that's just one coat. No runs. One run here, but that was from the paint anyway. That was from before the clear coat. But I just shot that at 50 pounds. And there's no runs in it yet. So that's one one layer, one coat. And you can see right in there, a little dry. Little dry spots in there. That's really what you're looking for. As you can see the rest of it's pretty glossy. That's a full coat. So there's a 30 minute flash off time. So it's almost seven o'clock now. It's been about 15 minutes. So we got about 15 more minutes. This is the second fender. it's a little dry right there and that's a that's really what your whole project should look like if you're doing a medium medium to wet coat for the first one this is pretty wet it's, which is it's great I mean, just look at, look at the shine here on this flat piece and this is just acrylic enamel this is not two three hundred dollar a gallon Deltron Or other expensive Nissan paint matrix. Any of that dirt and debris, it's actually not too bad. Most of that dirt and debris was in the base coat. I don't see that there's actually much that blew up into the clear coat. You can see it's a little orange peel, it's a little dry right there. That's exactly what we want. The first coat. It's too bad. Oh, yeah. See this panel here, this is this is what you're looking for. So it's just got a little bit of that orange peel, just a little dry. That's a good medium to wet coat. And then you come up here on this lip and you can see the gloss. That's a full wet coat. That's what your next coat is gonna be like. A good wet coat. Yeah, a little bit of orange peel, and that's exactly where we want to be right now. So, 30 minutes. Alright, it's been just over half an hour. Everything should be pretty well dry, flashed off. You're going to want to leave your fans on, your exhaust fans on, during that flash time. I turned mine off just so I could talk into the camera. You guys can hear me over the fans. But you want to get as much as that solvent out so you don't get solvent pop because this is a very high solid clear coat. And you can see there's just a little bit of that pearl flake in there. You can really see it in the black. I'm only going to do one coat with the pearl flake in the black because it gives it a gray hue and I'm, it's not what I'm looking for. I just want a little bit of it. But in the blue, 
It's beautiful. Just beautiful. This is going to get two coats of the pearl. You can just barely see it. After that second coat, you'll see it a lot better. All right. Just finished the second coat, which is the first real heavy wet coat. It's almost eight o'clock. And the black fenders, they only got one coat with the pearl flake. You can see right in there. So shiny that is. And then they got one full coat of the wet wet plus with no flake. There's a little bit of light trash in there, and you can see why. This is a tarp, and there's a lot of dirt on the floor, and that's causing a lot of light trash. I would not recommend painting on tarp with dirt on it if you're doing a real nice project. And this is two coats with the pearl pigment. Zoom right in here. You can see that pearl pigment. It's just just a ghost pearl. It's all we're looking for. I'm trying to keep it that factory Bahama Blue or Bahama Dave. Keep him happy. He doesn't want anything too crazy. I want to do chameleon paint. Brother wanted to get into thermal paint, but we compromised on this. Ghost Pearl. I don't see any runs in the clear coat yet on the second. Second coat. At this point there's no runs. I'm very happy. Still running at 50 pounds. This has two, two coats of the pearl pigment. This is just a trim piece for the firewall. That's one coat with a white pearl, and that's all it's, what you're seeing there, that's the white pearl flake. There's no trash in this area. Well, there's a little bit right there in the corner. There's no trash in this section. That's two coats. And the hood, well, the hood, the hood is what it is. You can see just the dirt and stuff that was trapped behind all the open cavities that blew out and there's nothing to do with wet wet. You look like in the center piece. It's a little dry. You come over here. This is what you're looking for right there. Glass in a can. Right there. Glass in a can. But you come up here. It's a little dry. That's where you hammer it on on that third coat. Come over here, this is what we're looking for. Right there. Let's see if I can get in close. Like I said, the, the dirt, that's just like trash that was in the in the in the body or in the hood. Nothing to do with ten or what. Look at the floor. I mean, you can't expect perfection. And here we, we got clumps of dirt. Clumps of dirt I'm painting on. You're not gonna not gonna have a sterile booth. I mean, it, this is not good. This is not the ideal way to paint something. But even so. This is going to be phenomenal. So right in this section there's no trash.
Now what you're seeing is the ribs, the ribs on the roof. So it's reflecting the ceiling in there. See that, that's the roof. Beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to turn the fan back on, give it 30 minutes, come back out, finish this baby up. All right, it's 9:30. Just finished spraying the last coat of the Wet Wet Plus. It turned out amazing. Look at the shine on that. That's a white pearl, ghost pearl in there. One coat with a ghost pearl, some light trash. I've got one run right there. And that was from the second coat. It's right there, you can just barely see it. You really can't see it too bad from this side. There's one run on the black. But the rest of it is beautiful. Look at the shine on that. Let's see if you can get that better. The rest of it is beautiful. Really no trash in this piece. There's no bond, there's no bondo, there's no body fill. This is just a quick prep spray. Just the inner fender well for the truck. Let's take a look at the cowl. See how that turned out. You see that was two coats of the white pearl. One clear coat on top of that. With no pearl. Let's see if we can get right in there. It's just enough. That's all we we're looking for. Just a little sparkle. A little ghost pearl. There's no, there's no trash in this. That's that turned out pretty good. I do have one run, and I'll show you on this side. Right on. This was the last coat, and I knew it. I was trying to hit this corner piece here, and I just, uh, I knew I put a little too much on, but so there's one run there. My fault. I made a little extra sweep. I just put just too much on there, and it's right on the edge, so it ran down. So it's up to my brother Tiny. If you were running the gun, this wouldn't have happened. But this is only the third project I've used Wet Wet on. The Wet Sand 600, watch 10's video. Takes a black magic marker, Wet Sand 600, re-clear it, you never know. But you can see the rest of it is beautiful. In person, it looks a lot better. Really, there is no trash. Here's just a couple minor specks of dust. It looks a lot better in person. Well, there in this one run, it's perfect. But. From a foot away, two feet away, you can barely see it. Well, that's the problem. It's a high solid. Put it on at 50 pounds. These things happen. That's all white goes pearl.
this one turned out perfect. No runs in this one. Oh, I take that back. There is one run here in the black. One small run. This was the third coat. So I can show you where it is. Yeah, it'll show it better. Oh, right, right there. Real small. That I think we can get away with being in the black. That should not be a problem. But right there. But what's in 600? That'll come right out. You never know. Another coat of clear. In the hood, is what it is. We like trash at, at small these openings. We blew out as best we could, used the vacuum, but there's so many cracks and crevices. It, it is what it is. I have one glob from the paint gun. If you look here, it's really shiny. It looks ten times better in person. And that's all like trash. Nothing, nothing from the wet wet. It's just a hard, very hard piece to paint and keep it clean. But it's the underside of the hood and if you saw what it looked like before, it's a hundred times better. Let's see if we can show you. There again, it, it looks like there's an orange peel on the camera, but if you saw in person, there is no orange peel. The camera is much more critical than the human eye. Had another glob right there. Not from not the wet wet fault. Not tens fault. The guy running the gun. Now here on the camera, it looks like there's orange peel. But I'm telling you, looking right in here, it's deep. It is it's wet. It looks like it looks like there's water laying on there, but this camera is very, very critical. It doesn't do this justice. So you guys at home are probably thinking this is garbage, but I'm telling you, if you saw it in person, you saw how deep that was. If I zoom in a little bit, well, maybe that's better. Oh yeah. Now you can see there's no there's no orange peel there. Once I zoomed in, a little bit of light trash. There's nothing you can do. But this is the best stuff we've ever sprayed. And we've tried it all. Martin Senior, PPG, Nason, Matrix. We've sprayed everything. All Candy Wet Wet Plus is the best. And I know you guys won't believe it, but the camera is a lot more critical than what you would see here in person. You're not going to get a better clear. You can see a little better on this black. It just doesn't, doesn't have that orange peel to this. It doesn't show it. You can see how shiny that is. see the reflection of the roof, camera, that should tell you right there, this is good stuff.
Shouldn't see any orange peel on that. Shouldn't see any, just a couple specks of dust landed on it. I know they tell you to do low pressure. In this case, we need high pressure. So we need 50 pounds for the Wet Wet Plus. Check your fan pattern, do the adjustments. You'll see that you can shoot it at 50 pounds and your gun won't blow up. Still here. Appreciate it.